I'm a neurobiologist. Um, I've been mostly interested in development um, and the way in which synapses uh, form among neurons, uh, particularly how neurons make the right choices to form synapses with the right other neurons uh, to make up the circuits that underlie uh, everything we do, uh, how we perceive, how we move, how we decide, everything. Well, I studied um, the neuromuscular junction, the connection that motor neurons make on muscle fibers for a long time. And there was a lot of power uh, in that system because you could get very detailed, but what you couldn't do is really look at circuits that underlie uh, complicated perceptions. And, and muscles are pretty stupid, actually. And the retina is a beautiful part of the brain. Um, it's very compact. We know exactly what it does. It does really complicated things. And I think we really are, we have a crack at understanding it in the next uh, maybe decade. And you can't say that for any other uh, part of the brain. There are relatively few cases in which you can just look at a cell and actually know uh, what it does in a circuit. And, and the J cell is, I think, a really beautiful example uh, of that relationship. And we'd like to think that knowing that, we can go back to other cells where maybe the relationship of structure and function is a bit obscure, and maybe by finding out their connections, by finding out what they're wired to, what's wired to them, by doing um, what you call their connectome, um, we can make that relationship of structure to function. And hopefully, uh, Highwire will let us learn all about the connection of the retina uh, and really let us know what this part of the brain does, and from that, learn things that the entire brain does, that is, work out the general principles.